Hi everybody, hope all of you are doing great. Uh, this is my new Canon R5C and uh, a lot of people are concerned about the battery life on this camera. Uh, I've got this camera for, I've been using it for five, six days. So I have found a few uh, hacks and I'll uh, also tell you about uh, the external batteries I'm using and how I'm rigging the camera. It's not a massive rig, but you can easily record uh, video on this camera with that rig for good seven to eight hours continuously okay the first of all if you don't want to rig the camera so this is the r5 cage i used to have r5 uh, which i part exchanged for this camera and uh, luckily the same uh, small rig cage fits on this one as well on the battery if you are uh, capturing video continuous uh, depending on a frame you will get anywhere between 50 minutes to one hour and 10 minutes of video recording but the funny thing i'll say the when you will go into the photo mode you will still have roughly 45 to 50 percent battery but in a video mode it will show that your battery has been depleted so when the battery level will hit in a video mode a zero it will clean the sensor save your footage and camera will turn off you jump into photo mode you will still have 45 50 percent battery but why this is happening let's turn the camera on so here if you look closely i've got uh, the camera set to for the 4k recording 10 bit log footage 25 frames per second and it's showing that i've got uh, roughly 45 minutes of recording time so if i'll press the record button it will say 45 48 47 46 minutes you see how it's dropping quickly and then it will become stable uh, when it thinks like okay it's got enough battery to record this much uh, time length it looks like it has become stable now 43 minutes if I turn the recording off and press this media button yeah playback button well you'll see we had 43 minutes of recording you'll see what happens now so I can hear the fan it has been turning down completely and uh, let's see what will show now <laughs> 148 minutes of recording left so what basically is happen happening it is a software problem in this video mode when you are not in a playback mode and you just whether you are recording or you're not recording your processor and your lens motor your fan they're continuously working and they're draining out the battery so the, this is just a kind of a hack when you are not recording and you're framing your thing or you're doing any other things in your studio whatever just go into playback mode why i don't recommend to turn off the camera because if you need to record something quickly and you need to turn on the camera again sometime it can take up to eight seconds anywhere between four to eight seconds so the best thing is just close the screen go into the uh, the playback mode and it will preserve your battery how I can and it's another thing I don't have a battery grip so this means by 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 doing this going into a playback mode even if you have to record on and off you got a battery grip in which you can have two batteries you can easily shoot two hours of footage easily you can have two hours of footage uh, with these two batteries you don't have to externally rig the camera or install an external battery or connect it to the mains because I think two hours is more than enough, more than sufficient for many people. I never knew this. If I knew this hack, I would have bought the battery grip straight away with the camera. But uh, yeah, so I found this a couple of days back and it works perfectly. You go in a playback mode, you can't hear the fan, nothing like that. Now, if I go come out of the playbook, playback mode, and even though I'm not recording, you'll hear the, can you hear it? You should be able to hear it now. Fan has kicked in and is focusing and everything. And uh, I've got the lens cap by the way on. So the lens starts working, uh, the processor, the uh, your sensor, this starts working straight away. And you can see again, it's telling me that I've got 46, 47 minutes of battery life left. Okay, how do I rig the camera? Now let's turn it off. What I found, 
I already have the cage as I've told you of R5 from R5. I have found this accessory from Small Rig on Amazon. I will uh, leave the link in the description if you guys want to bu uh, buy it. But this is one of the perfect thing for rigging the camera with a power delivery uh, power brake, power bank. So I'll tell you about this one later. So there's two ways you can do it. Either you can install it here. If you install it here, your both the screens are completely free to use. Top display, you can clearly see this screen is not obstructed by anything. Normally I've seen a few videos on YouTube where people are using V-mount batteries and they having to use the rods and they install the V-mount battery behind the camera, then they cannot open uh, the screen. So with this setup, you can easily do it. Now, there are two types of uh, these. Let me just quickly install it. There are two types of uh, these uh, plate or clamp or whatever you want to call it from small rig available on Amazon and their website as well. I prefer this one. This is cheaper. First thing is roughly 10 pounds cheaper compared to the other one. This is 20, 21 pound. Other one is 30 plus pound. This one is more stable because this one comes with a screw so which you can tighten it according to the size of your bank. So you install the bank here and there you go perfect yeah so it's easy you can take it anywhere you want just from your USB-C from here into your camera and that's it uh, but when if you need to install a monitor then it's become a bit bulky and you cannot install it if the bet if you got power bank here so now you both the screen both the screens are displays are clear and no obstruction at all and all the buttons they clear as well you can use anything let me tell you about the charger first then i'll show you the second way you can do it Char not charger sorry power bank so this is the company i don't know how to pronounce it charmast charm asked charm asked or something like that so this is i think uh, if i remember correctly 23000 uh, milliampere of uh, uh, whatever the, the unit they use for the power bank now this got uh, this is a power delivery two USB-C one is for out other one is for in and out and this is to charge your mobile phone I believe from this port you get only 15 watts from these two ports you get 60 or 65 watt which is more than sufficient to power the camera and I've recorded continuously 8 uh, case 50 peg 50p clip for continuous six six and a half hours with a fan i've left it on high speed not automatic continuously fan was running because camera was uh, getting pretty hot it was pretty hot in london last week so six six and a half hour of battery uh, of uh, uh, video recording time with this battery 8k 50p and i believe if you are recording 4k or 8k 25p it will last you another hour or 45 minutes now this bank comes with a soft pouch also comes with a USB-C to USB-C power delivery cable which I believe is very handy it's perfect for this setup from here to there it's not gonna be obstructing anything and it's small is solid the connection is quite solid as well when you use it look you have to use a bit of force to take it out it's not it's not gonna get loose anytime it's the same when you plug it in with the camera as well now the way I prefer if I'm using uh, the monitor and other stuff the way I prefer to do it and it's again I'm using the R5 cage I'm not using the R5C cage possibly the that cage is a bit different so this might fit differently on that cage but i'm pretty sure small rig they do when they do make the cages and stuff they make sure that they're compatible with other things uh, the accessories so there you go i have have installed it on the side now the problem with this one if you install on the side the drawback is that uh, 
now your display this display is hidden by the power bank but you can still access every button so that's not a problem so if you're using the back screen you shouldn't have any problem at all because you can see all the information what you can see on this uh, mini display on the top so this is that's the only drawback now the way i would like to do it this i will because the camera will slightly uh, become imbalanced because it's power brick is, is not that heavy but still got a bit of obviously weight and it's going to be tilting a bit on the right hand side so what i'll do so this is basically when you want to install monitor so this cage have a cold shoe on the if you're looking obviously from this side on your left hand side so easily you can install the your monitor on this side there you go so you got a perfect small rig which you can use it and uh, the your camera you obviously when you uh, are using uh, v mount batteries it's going to become a bit heavy so if you're using on a tripod on a monopod it shouldn't be a problem even with the v mount battery perfect run and gun thing and uh, i think it's 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 very uh, you will say reliable in a sense that you will not have a problem with the batteries you got a great display this is ninja 5 plus and uh, also if you want to record in apple pro res raw you can record on ninja 5 plus uh, 8k and if you want to record inside then obviously you don't have no problem what i would like to do if you are not using monopod or uh tripod i will prefer you to have this uh, handle on the side with one hand it's a bit tricky to let me just put it on side it's pretty tricky to install once you have this handle then it gets perfectly balanced and uh, become very stable now i've got this handle on the first thing obviously it's not been tightened properly when you tighten it properly so my hand is a grip is big enough that uh, i've got medium to large size hand you can easily grip it properly but because the problem on the uh, the other side where the canon the camera grip is your pinky is not resting anyway so you can't really hold the camera properly but like this it's perfect so this is a great great um, you can say a small kind of rig without any v-mount batteries without any plates rods anything it's very stable works perfectly you got a six to seven hour recording time and uh, you got a monitor here you can use it outside in a sun wherever you want to use and i think it's a perfect it's a perfect thing uh, whatever small rig products i've used and this battery i will leave the link in the description so if you buy it through those links it will obviously it's not, not, not going to charge you anything extra but it will help the channel and uh, you got another cold shoe mount here which you can use it for something else i don't know if you want to install uh, something else or whatever light or anything like that and i think it's perfect very stable very rugged and i really like it so this is the best i have uh, i've tried quite a few other uh, bits and bobs as well but uh, no it didn't work for me this is the perfect one i think so like if you have liked the video and if you want to know something more about canon r5c's please let me know in the comments and uh, i will make the videos by the way i have recorded this video on an iphone <laughs> because uh, i had my r6 I, I sold that one before and i've got only one camera at the moment so i'm recording this on my iphone 13 and using the iphone 13 mic so i hope it's not going to be professional audio or video, but uh, as far as it helps you, that's good enough. So take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.